Let me show y'all something, Spirit Scholars. This is real heavy right here. This is very heavy. I haven't recorded in my car in a while, but I'm going to show you exactly what happened right here. This is crazy. Oh, it was nerve wracking too. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Check this out. So I was driving along my little way and this car was like, it was literally just me and the car on the road and the car was flying. See this police right here? The car was flying. So I pulled over. I pulled over cause they were on top of me like it was nobody's business. And when I got, <laughs> it was just so frightening. And when I got to a certain spot, the police car literally was facing me and it put on its um, lights. And I'm like, what in the world? And um, he did a U-turn in front of me and then um, went after this car. And it was so wild because he went aggressively and went through a red light. So those young ladies are not getting out of their situation. But and I was just thinking the other day, let me turn you guys to me. I was just thinking the other day how cars that are going slow in front of me, I now see them as blessings. I was literally just saying that and I was going the right miles per hour. The young lady was right on top of me right on top of me and um i literally pulled over so that she, she could just go and sure enough i don't even know how fast she was going but she must have took completely off and that cop turned around with serious aggression i mean serious aggression he was facing toward the whole other opposite direction but he was in an unmarked van so she didn't even think about slowing down. I didn't even know it was a police officer until he turned on that um light. So, guys, <laughs> it was it was really scary because I mean he was facing me and and just started, but slow down. Oh my goodness! And she's all dressed up. Her and the other young lady in the passenger seat, they're all dressed up. Obviously, she really feels she's got somewhere to go. And now, where are you going? You're going nowhere right in this moment because you know that cop, the way he turned around, he's got to really now <laughs> make it worth his time. And um, all for what? And the crazy thing was, it was literally just me and her on the road and I was going decent miles per hour. If she had to just slow down, I pulled over. That is so heavy. I pulled over just to get her from off of me and she boom, took off. And now she's sitting, waiting for him to go through paperwork, <laughs> which I'm sure he's not going to be in a rush. Um, and she really was flying. She was flying. I mean, it was just crazy. Literally riding my, um, and I've learned to do that. I have definitely learned to do that. Like pull over. If somebody is just tail, you know, riding my bumper, I just pull over because really I'm not an aggressive driver out here in these streets. And it's really not that serious. If you really need to go past me, if I can safely pull over, I literally just pull over. Like, really. Um, so, and it was, like I said, they were dressed up so nice. And <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know she felt like she had somewhere to go. And now you stuck. But thankfully, no one got hurt. Really. Thankfully, nobody got hurt. So, and then, you know, they looking at the police like, but you really, really, truly were speeding right there. You really, really were in violation. You really were not having courtesy on the road. So anyway, I just had to show you guys that because he, he sped so fast in front of me that I had time. Um, I, uh, I knew I would have time by the time I got to where they were to, um, to let you guys see what really went what, what really went on so again thankfully nobody's hurt but guys cars going slow in front of you or at least at the speed limit take it as a blessing 
all right? And if you find yourself human um, because somebody's in front of you, uh, go within, check and figure out why you, <laughs> you know, and, and that's the other thing. If you're late, check out your, check yourself and say, oh man, I'm, I'm late again and now I'm blaming it on everybody on the road. I always tell my family members, um, listen, don't make up time on the road. That's not the time for it. You're endangering yourself, you're endangering others. Don't make time, don't make up time on the road. If you late, that's on you, but don't try to make up that time on the road, okay? <laughs> and so with that, Spirit Scholars, I wanna remind you that you are loved because indeed you are. And I also wanna remind you that I'm coming to you safely, about to turn this camera off, with the joy that gives me strength. Abundant love, beloveds. Can you guys see me? I was thinking if I had have stayed in front of her, she would not have gotten that ticket. But I moved and that caused her to accelerate all the more, probably thinking, oh, glad she's gone. And her very blessing left because she took it for granted and and she ended up with the cops on her tail. She was on my tail <laughs> and she ended up with the cops on her tail. <laughs>